Hi guys, welcome to a really exciting episode. They're all exciting, aren't they? I feel like I always start that way. It's so exciting. It's another day. That's exciting, right? Right. Just me? Okay. So, I'm really excited about this product. I'm really excited to film this for you guys. I was so bad pumped. I'm wearing a ton of it on my face right now literally and um i've had this product in my possession for about a week and a half i bought it the second it launched on ulta's website and many of you have guessed by the title and many of you have guessed by what i'm talking about we're talking about the Too faced nikki tutorials collaboration kit so this is called Too faced the power of makeup by nikki tutorials the packaging could do die i could it's so cute. Uh, gold, check. Metallic, check. Pink, check. Stunning, check. <sighs> we were meant to be best friends. So this is the box. Everything comes in. Uh, I'm sure many of you know that there is a lot contained within the box. So inside there is a palette which contains nine eyeshadows, two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight, as well as a Better Than Sex um, power, this, it's exclusive, it's a Better Than Sex mascara, exclusive to this collection, slash collaboration, in the shade Purple. There is a special Too Faced Glitter, Eye Safe, of course, and a Sketch Marker Eyeliner, as well as a Deluxe Size shadow insurance 24 hour crease proof crease proof primer there you go so all of that is of course listed on the back and all of the ingredients in all that scientific information so oh and of course there's also a glamour guide um is what they call it but it's basically uh, Nikki Tutorials telling you how to use this for some really fabulous looks. I think it's got three looks in it. Yeah, three looks, which is perfect. Nine eyeshadows, three looks. Pretty exciting stuff. So, if you pop the little tab up in the back, you open it up, you look inside, you can see that there is a bunch of stuff. What I love is that they didn't throw all the little smaller pieces just inside of here. They stuffed them in this adorable bag. <laughs> of course, it is identical to the box and the palette. It is like a Ziploc style baggie. Inside is, of course, the Power of Makeup Glamour Guide, which has all these beautiful images. Oh, Nikki Slay. Gorgeous. Yes. Um, this one's called Once Upon a Glam. It's a little bit more of a toned down look. And then Go Big or Go Goth, which is, of course, another slaying picture. How does she always get the eyebrows so on point? Oh, man. And then, of course, one last one called Glitter is the New Black, which that is like the new slogan for my life. And it has step-by-step -step pictures and then, of course, a list of steps down below. And then a hashtag on the back to Instagram, Facebook, Tweet, whatever. And then you have your Too Faced Mini Sized Better Than Sex Mascara in... Um, I do have it on my lower lash line, and I don't feel like it's super obvious it's purple, which is kind of nice for me, because I'm like, I don't want, like, bright, bright vibrant purple stuff going on. And then this is, I feel like, huge. Um, it is deluxe size. It is the Shadow Insurance Primer, of course. Next inside, we have this beautiful... Too Faced Glamour Dust in Glitterly. Um, the only thing I wish that it did differently is it doesn't have like a little shaker. So if you open it up, it is loose glitter inside. So make sure if you buy this, you remember that when you open it. You have to be very careful or 
you will get it everywhere and you will never get it out because glitter so and then after that you of course get the sketch marker which is the new felt tip liner from Too Faced it even has like this little clip like it's a pin to clip onto your shirt so that's cute and this is one of the most precise eyeliners I've ever had my hands on um, I used it today and my wing liner is of course un oh gosh my wing liner is of course uneven because that's how I do things but other than that it's really great it's matte it's black all the things you love and next what I feel like is the good stuff um, like I said I've been dying over this packaging but on the back it says yes We've teamed up with global beauty megastar Nikki Tutorials to create this limited edition collection to celebrate the transformative power of makeup. Nikki is the ultimate Too Faced girl who is makeup obsessed and believes in its ability to inspire confidence and change the world, just like us. When life gives you lemons, punch it in the face and ask for glitter. Nikki. So, Nikki is one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, I don't think there's anybody in the world who I feel like is interested in makeup at all and doesn't know about her. So I was super excited to get this. It's also the first cool tone um, palette that I've seen out pretty much at all this year. Everything is warm tones and reds and peaches and that kind of thing, which I love. I'm someone who can wear warm tones really beautifully. And um, I was kind of excited slash kind of nervous about this palette because it's so cool tone, but it ends up working pretty well for my skin tone and um, no complaints so far really on the colors choices. So of course then we open up the palette and we have all of this goodness. I'm sure that one of the first things you guys noticed, the first thing I noticed when I open it up is there is a big chunk missing from the shade Ivy on my palette. Um, my sister Caitlin, who I love, so therefore she's still alive, uh, <laughs> was tossing me an eyeliner the other day. It hit the pan and cracked it. So, I think that is a huge testimony to the quality of these eyeshadows, though. The fact that it just took this little gash out of it, but there's no cracks in the rest of the pan, and there's also no flaking anywhere. The integrity of the eyeshadow is still fairly intact. So I'm sad about that. I know it kind of ruins it for pictures and everything, but alas, it is what it is. So you have the following nine shades. I love that it goes from light on one end to dark on the other. I think that's really pleasing to the eye. You have two blushes. I will always love you and justify my love. And a single chocolate soleil bronzer. And exclusive to this particular palette, the Champagne Truffle Highlight. So, that is what is in the packaging. Now, let's go ahead and get you guys a little tutorial and let you see me play with it a little bit. Enjoy! So, to start out our eye look, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance, the 24-hour anti-crease that you get in your little package. I'm just going to squeeze out probably a tiny little stripe, a very, very small amount, because a little bit goes a long way with this. I'm going to apply it all over both lids. Next, we're going to go in with the shade Ivy to set our primer, but um, first you're going to notice I have obviously been using this beautiful palette. And you can see that in the shade Ivy, there's a little chunk missing. My sister was tossing me an eyeliner, and the eyeliner hit it, and it broke it. <sighs> Thank you for saying a prayer for Ivy. <sighs> Alright. Now that we've had a moment of silence for the shade Ivy, I'm going to go ahead and take it on. Try to decide how to hold this without. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take it just lightly, tap off the excess, and apply it all over the lid. Now 
Now to build up our crease, we're going to go in with the shade Painkiller right here. We're going to take the shade Makeup and Chill and really increase the depth of the crease. Then we're going to really blend it out with a clean brush. So this was kind of like a difficult decision for me, but I couldn't decide which to use, Mystic Hour or Wham Bam. And I'm such a purple person that I really had to display this color on my lids for you guys. So we're going to go in and use that today, and we're going to build that up on the outer portion of our eyelid. problems I really have with these palettes are these like more glittery metallic shadows which I mean happens so I'm not that upset about it okay so then you got a nice purple outer corner and then you're gonna blend it in the crease so I really want a metallic inner light eye, so I'm actually going to use the highlighter portion of the palette and the shade Sugar Coated to do the inner section of my lid. And I'm going to use my finger to get a little bit of Champagne Truffle. I'm just going to dab that. On the inner corner. And then... I'm going to take sugar coated and put it right over the top of that. And then we're going to have to obviously blend and blend and blend. And then we're really just going to cream up that crease with a little bit more of painkiller. And then next I'm going to dust off my bake I've had going here. And to smoke out the lash line, I'm going to go ahead and start with Painkiller and Makeup and Chill. Then I'm going to take the shade Mystic Hour, which is this blue shade here, and I'm going to a little bit of that also in the outer corner underneath. And that's not something I really do very often, so that's kind of a nice, different pop of color. Okay, so now that we have done our eyes with this, we're going to go ahead and use some blush. Um, I have been using this palette um, for, like I said, about a week and a half or so. Um, not that entire time have I been choosing to use this palette, but I have used it, I think, four or five times four or five times just to get really good an idea of what I think about it. So um, I'm going to actually, I really like to mix these two blushes. That's really just my kind of cup of tea. Next I'm going to go ahead and contour with the chocolate Soleil section, um, it does smell like chocolate. If you know anything about the Too Faced chocolate bar palettes, you know they tend to smell like chocolate. The Champagne Truffle, yeah, the Champagne Truffle Highlight and the Chocolate Soleil both smell like chocolate. So I'm just going to swipe a couple times. Please excuse my hair throughout this video for being so incredibly frizzy. It has rained on and off all day in Kansas today, and the humidity has like seeped into every single building it seems like, so it's just like a fluff ball. <sighs> I 
And of course, what Nikki Tutorials palette would be complete without a highlight. This is a highlight made specifically for this palette. You can't find it anywhere else. Um, Nikki, I guess, uses the Champagne Truffle color in one of her chocolate bar palettes, and she loved it so much. She asked them to design a little highlight for this palette, so. And it's really beautiful. Glow, little glow. Okay. That concludes this section of our little look. So next up, we're going to go ahead and use the sketch marker. Um, I have been using this a lot. Um, I kind of have mixed feelings. Sometimes it works better than me for others, but I would say that there's a little bit of a learning curve. So I'm going to try and wing it out with this little baby. Looks good. Should we just not do the other one because we already know the results? Okay. Wow. Okay, so this look, this wing liner looks decent. Oh. I love it when that happens. Okay, so um, then we're going to go ahead and use the Better Than Sex Purple Mascara. It is one of a kind, of course, to the collection on our lower lash line. I can't believe I got mascara on myself like that. Oh, okay, well, we'll just let it dry. This is actually why I don't use this mascara very often. Alright, so I'm going to let this dry. We'll clean that off. I'm going to put some lipstick and we'll be back to talk about this collection. Okay, guys, so you saw me work with this a little bit and smudge my little mascara. We fixed that got some lipstick on now everything has been repaired but I like to leave those things in because I am not perfect you guys know that I know that why should I pretend that I've never done that before mascara sometimes it hits and I mean you just have to be able to repair it and move on so I feel like it looks pretty pretty much like it did before so that's really exciting um, but I think it's time to talk a little bit about this palette and the products it comes with. First of all, I've loved Shadow Insurance Primer for a really, really long time. Nothing against that product. Absolutely wonderful. One was like the original eyeshadow primer that I was into back in the day, like three years ago. Um, next product to talk about is, of course, the Better Than Sex Mascara. It is just like the original formula, just purple. So if you love that, you'll love this. And then the sketch marker, although it does have a learning curve, I absolutely think that because of the way they designed it to, like, the cap is spring-loaded, so every time you push it back on, it pushes more product into it, so it stays moist. You don't have to worry about it running out when there's actually still product in here. You can also shake it to really get it going, and that helps. Um, learning curve, yes, but it dries beautifully. Definitely worth the money. Also, extremely difficult to get off. Very, very waterproof. You're not going to cry that eyeliner off. No ma'am. No sir. Ain't going to happen. Um, what else did we have? Glitter is really finely milled. Works beautifully. I love their Glamour Dust. I've used them for a really long time. That formula for glitter is really, really beautiful. But make sure you've got a bait going on because just like glitter dust, it will fly everywhere. Now, talking about the palette. Um, I don't want to say a whole lot other than the Chocolate Soleil is a Chocolate Soleil. 
everyone has either used it or they haven't, but it is a beautiful cool tote bronzer. It works great for contouring, great for all skin tones. Love, love, love. Champagne Truffle. Hmm. I'm kind of on the fence about this. I love that they created a highlight just specifically for Nikki, but I feel like it's a little hard and it's a little bit hard to work with. It shows up beautifully, I think, in person and it's very subtle, but for the glow that Nikki likes to achieve in her own videos, I feel like it might be a little subdued for something on a Nikki palette. If they had just like released this, I would have probably loved it. But because it's got Nikki's name attached to it, I'm kind of disappointed at the lack of glow, if that makes any sense. I wish it were just a little bit more intense. And I mean, I'm sure I could build it up. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure I could. It just seems a little subdued. Blushes. Love, love. 3,000 times. Love these. Oh, beautiful. Then the eyeshadows. Some of them I like better than others. For instance, Sugar Coated, I had a really hard time working with. Um, it just seems to kind of overtake everything and kind of go everywhere. And then um, Mystic Hour is really, really beautiful, but it seems kind of muddy after wearing for a little while. As well as Irresistible, it seems more glitter than pigment. Now, I love glitter, but looking at it, I wasn't expecting straight glitter, so that kind of surprised me. Um, I, I, but I ain't mad at it. You know what I mean? Like, there are some things, like, that's like little tiny pieces of things that are kind of annoying. But, like, all of the mattes, stunning. Super, super pigment. You can't deny that. I mean, they're incredible. And then the glitters are beautiful. I think this maybe a little bit of a glitter glue would really help them out. And um, I do that with pretty much every glitter eyeshadow. It just holds them in place better anyways. So go ahead and do that. Uh, the little metallic ones that are less glitter, a little bit of fallout. But like I said, Mystic Hour gets a little muddy. But it's I've also only worn it below my eyes, not actually on the lid. So that might also because be because I've mixed it with other colors at the lash line. So overall, super, super in love with this palette. Crazy pigmented, beautiful options. So proud of Nikki. I mean, she's taken a long time, I feel like, to choose to work with a makeup brand and release something like this. And I think it was because she was waiting for the right one. And I absolutely commend her for that. I mean, I can't even imagine with as many people as she has watching her videos on a daily basis. I mean, she'll get a, sometimes she gets a million views in like a day or less than. So I'm really impressed with the fact that she has stayed true to herself and how she feels about things. And that's the kind of YouTuber that I appreciate and hopefully that's the kind of YouTuber you appreciate because that's the kind of YouTuber I am. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that everything is 100% perfect about this. Too Faced eyeshadows are incredible. But there are a couple little things that I'm like, meh, I wish that wasn't there. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to tell you everything's 100% perfect and daisy and fresh and all of those things. There are a little bitty just hiccups. So I hope you appreciate the fact that I was honest. Love Nikki. Love Too Faced. Love that they absolutely positively put this together for us. <sighs> We're going to be besties for a while. And, and of course if I do more looks and things I'll post about them on Instagram. Give you guys a little heads up. You know. But um... Yeah, fifty six dollars. I feel like a, I feel like it's a pretty good deal, you know. So there you go. Now, this is pretty much the end of the video. So if you were just here for the palette information, you can go. But maybe don't leave because I'm doing a giveaway right now. So hopefully most of you have seen it. Maybe you haven't. Maybe you're new to my channel right now. Hello. Hi. I'm Morgan. And I'm so grateful you're here. I love spending time with you guys via video. And um, if you're new to my channel, go check out my 100 subscriber giveaway. I hit 100 subscribers last Friday. And as of right this second, I'm at 162 subscribers. 
what it's almost doubled in just like a few days because right now it's Tuesday so we haven't even it's not even been a full week since then and I'm just like mind blown I'm like checking my subscriber count all the time and it's just constantly going up and I'm so happy that you guys found me and I'm so happy that you guys love the videos I'm making so there's a link in the description box to that video and you can go check it out and enter the giveaway and hopefully win some really cool stuff if you are a long time subscriber make sure you went and checked out that video too because of course you my girl, you my guy, I want you to win as well. So I don't really have any announcements other than go check out the giveaway and of course this video is going up on Wednesday and I will have a Friday video for you guys as well and then I will pick a Wendy and then I will pick a winner on Sunday night and the giveaway will be over. So you have until Sunday to enter the giveaway if for any reason you are not able to right now but I mean I get it. It takes some time sometimes to step away from school or work or babies or whatever and go subscribe. So subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Go find other videos. Find me all over the internet. My social media is all down below. I'm Morgan and this is Tinsley Trials and I will see you guys next time. Bye.